Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new, just stopping by, hi. Well, it's March and I'm gonna be talking about mindfulness. Mindfulness March, okay? So if you're curious of what mindfulness could look like to you, then stick around and find out right then. Moving. So let's get started, shall we? The reason why I've decided to do this video is because a lot of my clients have asked me, well, what does mindfulness look like? So I'm here to tell you. All right, so what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is being fully present in the moment, leaving the past in the past and your focus on the here and the now. So mindfulness also means letting go of focusing way too much on the future, right? I mean, it's good to focus on the future, but not to the point where it takes you out of the present moment, okay? And a lot of us do that. So if you're anxious, you're probably not being present, okay? All right, so before I forget, in addition to this definition of mindfulness, I'm gonna be giving you some tools and some tips that you can use to try to practice mindfulness. Okay, so don't go anywhere. Stay put. All right, watch me. Being mindful also means regulating your emotions appropriately. So essentially keeping them in check, not pushing them away, recognizing that they're there, holding space for them, but not letting them control your response or reactions to things. Okay, that's important. Don't forget that one. So this eyeshadow I'm using is pretty crappy and it like flakes. It gets all dusty. Might have to throw it away. Another one bites the dust. And another, and another one's gone. And another one's gone. Another one bites the dust. Hey, I'm gonna get you too. Another one bites the dust. Anyway, so if you find yourself getting defensive rather quickly, perhaps you're letting the past define you or what you think the future should be. Probably should have done green instead of black because like St. Patty's Day and everything, but whatever. Another thing to keep in mind is making sure that you're connecting with your core values and who you are, what you believe, what you think, all the things. If we don't do that, we could easily lose ourselves to the persuasion of others or the influence of others and not be present, which is the exact opposite of being mindful. So keep that in mind. All right. I mean, I guess I could add green. Why not? Let's move on to some things that you can practice shall we? This first one I got from my friend Vera. Hi Vera. Hey girl, how you doing? She had mentioned that a good practice could be taking note of your wins throughout the day or maybe even at the end of the week because sometimes we get so caught up in what we have to do, what we haven't done, what we want to do, all the things that we don't note where we're winning. So that could be a very good mindful practice for you. Try doing it throughout the day. What'd you get done that day? Getting out of bed? Win. Dishes? Win. Washing your hair, brushing your teeth, win, win, win. <laughs> Another thing kind of ties into what I just said is slowing down throughout the day, checking in with yourself, all right? We get super busy trying to get all the things done and we just don't slow down. Some of us don't even take a break, you know, to breathe. And it doesn't have to be like a whole hour long break, although I would highly recommend that, that you take at least an hour break during the day for lunch and not at your desk. All right, but if you feel like you can't do that, you're short on time, I get it. But you can take five minutes to breathe, all right? Connecting with your breath, making sure you're breathing from your diaphragm and not your chest, all right? When you breathe from your chest and not your diaphragm, that can actually increase your anxiety. So don't do that, all right? Connect with your diaphragm when you breathe. Check in with yourself throughout the day. Got it? Cool. Which brings me to my next point, which is connecting with your body. Noticing tension, for instance, in your neck or your shoulders, those might be signs that you need to stop and get present, all right? Oh, look, it looks like I pulled up that green. Irish eyes are smiling. Is that Irish or Scottish? I don't know. Anyway, where was I? Oh, body, yes. So connecting with your body is really key in being mindful. So if you're tense, your neck hurts, you got a headache, your back hurts, like stop, check in. And taking that pause might actually help you identify what you were thinking. Was it, oh my God, I'm never gonna get this done, or it's not good enough, all things. Those would be thought traps, okay? We need to get over those thought traps. Now, it is unrealistic to think you can be mindful all the time, every day, throughout the whole day, you know, but you can make efforts to try to practice it throughout the day. I mean, we all have our goals and dreams and things we're trying to achieve, and that does require thought about the future. So you can stop and reflect, you know, when you're reflecting on your wins, what are some of the things and choices that you made to help you reach the goals that maybe you have in mind for yourself? So if you're working on your health, for instance, what things did you do to try to pay attention that, that day or throughout the week? And don't shame yourself if you didn't do it, quote unquote, enough. Something is something, give yourself credit, okay? 
be nice to yourself. I said so. Now, something that's often not talked about with mindfulness that I believe is true, being open to change and trying new things. If we're mindful and we're present, then we're not gonna have all those anxieties that might prevent us from doing something differently. So if you find yourself reserved or overly cautious or kind of stuck doing the same things because that's your comfort zone, perhaps you might need to practice a little mindfulness. And don't forget when you're thinking about connecting with your body, you might have some resistance there because maybe you haven't been taking care of yourself, not exercising. Yeah, I know I'm guilty of it too. I actually started running, so pretty proud of myself. Yeah, it was just a couple days ago and it was just once, but I'm trying. Okay, that's the point. But you don't have to do heavy duty exercise. Doing some light stretching can help you stay in the moment. Another thing to consider is really making an effort to get outside daily. We do not do this enough. I know I'm guilty of it too. We're always behind our computers or the screen or our phone or a tablet that we completely neglect being outside and observing and connecting with nature, which can do a lot for your spirit and even your creativity. So observe your surroundings. Listen to the birds, feel how the wind is on your skin, the sun, all things, all right. Oh, by the way, that's really important to consider too. Going outside gives you vitamin D. You need vitamin D. If you don't get enough vitamin D, you're gonna be tired and nobody wants that. I feel like this looks like another look I did a while back, but I'm running out of ideas. All right, so if you have an idea for me, just let me know. I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Another good practice is when you're eating, make sure you're slowing down. So we might eat mindlessly. So that could look like savoring every single flavor that comes to mind. Maybe when you're like drinking a tea or something. So I saw this fixing powder. I think I only used it once when I did the Halloween video. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna look now, but let's give it a go. Wish me luck. I guess it's all right. Really, no, I can't tell because I can't see without my glasses and the mirror's like all the way over there. I have this tiny mirror right here and I still can't see it. So basically this is a blind person putting on her makeup. How am I doing? Hmm. I guess it kind of gives it like a matte finish. I don't know if I like it. Also another important practice is Oops, I'm gonna look carried away with that highlighter, didn't I? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yes, another thing you want to practice is really being mindful with whom you're speaking to whenever you're having a conversation, all right? We can be so focused on what we have to say or what we want to respond with that we're not really actually fully engaged with the other person, not listening to what they're sharing with us, okay? So don't do that, it's important to connect with others genuinely. Also another beneficial thing is writing things down when it comes to your mind. So it's not just spinning in your mind throughout the day. Take five minutes and write down everything that's swimming in your mind, put it aside and then move on through your day. Cause you know, you've got it written down, you can circle back around to it later. So give that a try. So after watching most of this video, do you recognize that maybe you're not being mindful? Hmm? Focus. Oh man, I'm out of blush too. Another one bites dust. I think I can scrape the rest and the ends off. We'll see. Did I finally get this blush placement right? Kind of feels like it just blends in with my contour. All right, I gotta use this mirror because I'm doing my eyeliner now. Wish me luck. Also, you wanna remember that mindfulness is really all about acceptance. Acceptance of yourself, the present moment, things that are beyond your control, for instance. Which brings me to another important piece, which is letting go of your need to control things. I know that probably spiked some of your anxiety, for those of you who feel like, oh my God, no, I can't let go of control because if I let go of control, then this, that, or the other is gonna happen and I have to prevent that from happening and all the things. All right, slow down, okay? So to stop, acknowledge, and accept what's within our realm of control and what is not, okay? You can't control other people. You can't control their choices. Can't control what they do or don't do. Unfortunately, we don't have any control of anything that's going on in the world right now. All we can do is do our part to contribute in some way, but you can't take all the things on and you can't force change, unfortunately. Right then. I'm gonna finish this up because, you know, I've been here before, can't do this. And I'm not gonna force myself, make a fool of myself more so than I am. All right, so stay put, I'll be right back. Here we are, final look, what do you guys think? Well, before I forget, there was one thing I did not mention that you could practice in order to start trying to be a bit more mindful. And that's kind of like narrating every little thing you're doing. I know it sounds ridiculous, but give it a try. So like if you're getting ready to leave for work, narrate what you're doing. I'm getting my keys, I'm getting my purse, I'm getting my bottle of water, I'm opening the door, I'm turning on the music. You know, it's really difficult to be lost in the future if you're narrating the present. I'm just saying. Anyway, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And I hope that I will be returning next month, but I'm not gonna promise anything. 
I have to be mindful of my mental illness. But until then, be well, be strong, and be loved.